All right, let's go. I just got a PNY 3080. I have not pulled it out of the package yet. This is my first video recording. So I can only promise one thing. There will be mistakes. And the framing will be garbage. So here we are. Solid back plate. Looks like most of the air vents out the side with the PNY. A little bit of airflow out the back there. I haven't seen any information on these cards yet other than what's posted on PNY's site. There's the main power input. Get right to it. So I'm sure if you found this, the internet is ablaze with uh, chatter over the capacitors on various third-party cards. So that's what I am diving in to investigate. Just to fan the flames and not at all for the content get the clicks so here you have all of the thermal pads for Presumably the memory and VRMs, as I've been told. Let's take a look in there. So I don't see any active parts that would need the thermal contact to that back plate. It's likely just contact for the PCB to spread the heat to that back plate. You can see we do have MLCCs uh, for one of the populated spots. I want to see about zooming in. I was thinking that that looked a little sloppy on the soldering, but it looks like that's just the footprint. That's how that footprint behaves. So no worries there. Then it looks like there's room for more capacitors around the outside. My background is in power supply design love to get my hands on the schematic of this, of course. But as far as I'm seeing with what other people have posted online, nothing super out of the ordinary. So there you have it. Discharge the air outlet right there. 
an air outlet on all of the sides. I'm not going to try and take the uh, PCP off the other side. Again, air outlets on the sides, triple fan. Looks like there's some heat pipes in the middle there to distribute along the length of the card. Good aluminum polymer down inside. Yeah. Nothing jumps out at me. Let me know what you think.